Good afternoon. The Secretary Gen General and the Prime Minister will make uh, short statements and then we have time for a question or two. Secretary General. Prime Minister Karinch, uh, welcome to the NATO headquarters. It's a great pleasure to uh, welcome you here to the new NATO headquarters and also uh, to meet with you uh, and to discuss a wide range of uh, different uh, issues uh, which are of great importance for NATO and uh, for uh, uh, Latvia. Uh, we have uh, just discussed the uh, ongoing adaptation of uh, NATO, uh, uh, the need to change NATO as uh, the world is uh, changing. And when NATO leaders uh, meet in London in December, we will boost the readiness of our forces and work towards fairer burden sharing in our alliance. Latvia is a highly valued ally, uh, making an important uh, contribution to our uh, collective uh, defense. Your forces are training Afghan troops uh, to fight terrorism. You host a multinational battle group uh, in your country, and you contribute actively to regional exercises. This week, uh, as we speak, Latvia is leading exercise Silver Arrow, bringing together 3,000 troops from 12 NATO uh, allies and providing training for one of four battle groups in the region. Such exercises are part of NATO's strength in deterrence and defense in a more unpredictable world. Latvia also leads, by example, on defense investment. You commit 2% of GDP uh, uh, for uh, defense and you are investing in major equipment. It is important uh, that we continue investing in our defense to ensure that our service men and women um, have what they need in order to keep our nations safe. Latvia is uh, part of a strong uh, uh, NATO where allies stand shoulder to shoulder. Allied jets keep your skies safe. Allied ships uh, keep the Baltic Sea secure and NATO battle groups in the region prevent conflict and preserve uh, peace. Uh, in Adachi, troops from nine allies uh, serve alongside Latvian forces. They send a clear message, NATO stands as one. They demonstrate the strength of the transatlantic bond, uh, soldiers from North uh, America and Europe serving together to keep our alliance safe. This bond uh, guarantees our security and our prosperity, allowing us to live our lives in freedom. So once again, um, Mr. Prime Minister, it has been a great uh, uh, honor and pleasure to meet with you. And I'm looking forward to continuing to work with you to continue to adapt and to strengthen our uh, alliance, our transatlantic uh, partnership. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Secretary General. A wonderful meeting, a uh, uh, very uh, interesting discussion that we had. Uh, Latvia is a committed uh, member, uh, NATO uh, member state. Uh, we, from our history, uh, have learned and know very well uh, what it means when you're not prepared and when you're not aligned and when you're trying to go it alone. Uh, we are investing 2% uh, of our uh, GDP into defense and the only uh, debate that we're having in Latvia is how much and how quickly can we increase our defense spending. Uh, our philosophy is very simple. The key to collective defense is when every member can first and foremost take care of itself. And that means investing into your own defense. Uh, on top of that, uh, we very highly value the enhanced forward presence of the NATO troops, the boots on the ground, the men and women from uh, the nine uh, NATO member states who on a daily basis are in training and in exercises with our uh, men and women in the, in the armed forces participating in uh, the missions abroad is an important aspect that we will also be continuing. We highly uh, value uh, the the, uh, the joint uh, work together with our NATO allies. And uh, going beyond uh, the military investments in our country, we are enacting a uh, comprehensive de defense initiative uh, involving also the civil sector, uh, down to the family uh, household level, where every member of society, every company knows what their role is uh, in case of an emergency, be it a natural disaster or anything else. Uh, so our country uh, is a, 
highly values the cooperation that we have uh, within NATO. We understand that you have to begin by investing in yourself. We are doing this and will continue to do this. And we are convinced that uh, uh, if all member states continue in this manner, uh, our alliance will become stronger as a force for good, as a force of deterrence uh, to ensure peace, uh, stability, and democracy uh, throughout uh, uh, the world, actually. Thank you very much. I don't see any questions, so this concludes this uh, press point. Thank you very much.